My last question for you, and, and I, don't, I don't mean to hammer this home too often, but it's important that we do. Uh, you believe you could have saved Ambassador Stevens and, and, and the others' lives if you had the support early on and if you were given the order to go. Is that right? Yeah, you know, I, I, I do believe that we, we would have definitely made a difference. Um, had we gotten over there earlier, and this is, um, I validate it by, because the, the Ambassador Stevens and Sean Smith, um, they died from smoke inhalation. And it took them a while before the fires got started big enough to do that. And had we been over there right away, and it's a kind of, I guess I put it this way, it's kind of hard to light a match if you're getting shot at. Yeah. So it we would have been a distraction to the to the guys that were starting the fires, and it would have made a difference in their lives. With that, I think Hillary Clinton has blood on her hands. I agree. I agree. I think she does. And the fact that she didn't, I mean, she had 13 hours to send help. Um before Ty and Glenn got killed. Because Ty and Glenn didn't get killed till about 5.30 um, in the morning. So I get with that about nine, 10 hours. Um, any type of air support would have been, could have gotten there. And if not, then we need to reevaluate our strategic points in the, uh, the Middle East. Yeah, clearly she's the last one that we need as commander in chief. And, and, and what you folks were through is, is proof of that. Hey, Mark Geist, it, it is great having you on. It's good to talk to you again. And thank you for all you do and keep pushing this message. Uh, you, you and your buddies are amazing. You keep it up. Hey, thank you so much. And uh, great to be on here and uh, looking forward to coming back sometime.